Welcome to Canning with a Purpose. Today we are going to be working on watermelon raspberry jelly, one of my favorites. And I don't recall where I got this recipe fun from, but let's get started. First, you're going to have to have eight cups of watermelon, seedless. And if it's not seedless, you're going to have to sit there and pick out every seed, which can be very tedious. So you're going to throw it either in a blender the watermelon you're going to throw in the blender or the food processor or anything to liquefy it. I have my magic wand that I'm going to use. Well, fair warning, it is going to be a little loud, but I'm not going to take you through the whole entire process of grinding this up. So I'm going to hit the lock button and this at the same time it's going to turn it on and then I can let go of the lock. It is very messy when you're doing this. I've already wore quite a bit of it. You're going to continue to do that until it is a liquid. I have two packages of raspberry jelly, or raspberry jello, sorry. Two packages of raspberry jello. That's going to go right in there. I use two, you can use one. The recipe calls for one. I know, let the criticizing begin. You don't like it, then I don't need to tell you. My kitchen. Oh, there we are. So yes, I do can with Jello once in a blue moon. This is the only recipe that I do that with. All right, you're gonna add three packages of pectin to your jelly. Bring it to a boil that you cannot stir out. So this is a constant bubble that you're looking for. You're gonna start your timer at one minute. See how you can't stir that away? And then turn off your burner automatically. We're gonna ladle this into our canning jars. coloration of that jelly goodness that looks good you're gonna want to boil do a boiling water bath with this jelly so I have my first batch sitting in there now waiting for me to can it and you're gonna do that for 15 minutes when you're doing your jelly don't do this number if I can get it to do it. You don't want it to cup the funnel. If it cups the funnel like that, and then you just do that number, you're gonna get a sugar burn. I've been there, I've done it, and it freaking sucks. So that's why I put the jelly into the jar the way I do. You can also tell how thick it is on here. Tastes really good. That your jelly's gonna set too. So I'm gonna go ahead, finish jarring these up. Oh, it's already thickening. This recipe makes six. No, seven. It makes seven jars of jelly. I learned my lesson the hard way, never double your batch. I did that with jelly and it didn't set. Some people do have success with it. 
where others don't. I'm one of those people that don't have success with it. Alright. You're going to want a clean rag for this. Let's see how clean that is. Yeah, it's pretty clean. Okay. Wipe off the tops of your jars. I did not mention that this jelly, most of your jellies and jams are going to call for one inch headspace. So you definitely need that. If you're not sure, ah, shit, how much I'm what I'm referring to when it comes to headspace, I did a video on canning jars, um, pressure canners, how to use them, the scent a third. Sorry, I'm trying to get my um, canning lids. There we go. And water bath canners. So there is that little piece of hair on there. Always check for that if you have pets. Piece of your hair gets in there. Just tell them it's okay. Just how you know how, how you know it's home, homemade. Ugh, I cannot speak today. Holy shit. These jars are really hot. Of course, always sanitize your jars. Every time you go and can, you want to sanitize your jars. Can't stress that enough. My son has my other pot holder, so I'm going to use this one. Hand tight. You don't want Hercules on there. Just do hand tight. Okay, and we're going to get these into the canner. But the rest of our jelly that we have waiting. My burner is sitting on low. So, that way the water will stay warm. One of my favorite jellies. I'm excited about it. As if you can't tell, right? You want at least an inch of water over the top of the jars. You pay close attention. Then bubbles coming out of there. That's air being released from the jars. So, that's why they say to leave your jars in there for an extra five minutes. Not only because of that reason, but so that way the water has a chance to cool down some before you remove your jars from the water bath canner. <laughs> 